to get into some news now. This actually makes me so happy. Speaking of being happy and forgiving and being positive, part of our vision here, part of the amazing thing that we're going to do for you is our news is actually quite negative right now. It's what sells, and it's not, the, it's not necessarily the media's fault. It's what people watch. And if you don't like that everything is negative, because maybe I don't either, uh, or it's actually an oxymoron. We, we can love what is negative because that's how it will turn positive. But we can also watch what's positive and we can share what's positive. And we can understand the one thing that I can do better and that I think everybody can do better. We can understand the pain of others, whatever it is. People are freaked out about the presidential election in the United States. They are freaked out. They don't understand if it's good or bad. They think maybe the world's going to end half of them. Half of them are happy, but they want bad things for the people they defeated. And it's, it's pretty divisive, to say the least. So what we're going to do now, I am actually so happy to look at some craziness and to find the good in it. And that's what we're doing here at Believe. We're really looking at things that are absolutely insane, and we're going to find ways to fix them. Do you believe you can do that? Do you believe you can be part of the solution? If you do, share this message. Make your own show. Do whatever you want to do. Help me. Help us. Do whatever you can to love that which you think you might hate, to help people do the same, and to pay attention to what you want and not think about what you don't want. And I've been taught that, and I, I've done it well sometimes, and it's tougher other times, and maybe slowly but surely we get better and better and better over time. But what I'm going to do right now is get into something really amazing about the presidential election. And I don't think anybody on earth could think this is a bad thing, what I'm about to say. The only people that may would want massive war and the entire population to be wiped out. And I don't think many people want that. Maybe some forces off the planet. I don't even know about that. Because actually, even if there are negative entities that feed off the fear. I think they might like that there's so much fear and it gives them more energy, right? So I don't think anybody, I think we could love it all. And I think that this is the one thing we could point to right now that's absolutely amazing about the presidential election in the United States in 2016 and who won. And let's get into it now. So I'm pulling up on the screen for the for the YouTube subscribers, the people watching this video. Russian Russia unveils Satan 2 missile could wipe out France or Texas, report says. Now this is from October 27th, 2016, before the election. And if you take a look, this is on CNN. This is a a missile that NATO named Satan to. My understanding is NATO gave it the nickname. I could be wrong. But it has a range exceeding about 6,800 miles, 6,835, 6,835 miles, And this missile could wipe out Texas or, what do they say, France. So this is an article talking about what could have happened. The next article I'll bring to your attention before, from before the election, NATO and Russia playing dangerous game with military buildup. This is from The Guardian. And if you look at The Guardian, 
This article is talking about basically the biggest military buildup on Russia's borders since the Cold War. Britain is sending fighter jets next year to Romania. The U.S. is dispatching troops, tanks, and artillery. (laughs) I can't pronounce that word. Artillery to Poland. (laughs) So you're looking at this, you're thinking... October, did we, did anybody know about this? Did we know this was happening in the United States? Not really. So far we have a CNN article and then we have the Guardian, but this was not the top story and I really don't understand why. You have nuclear missiles being aimed at each other and the biggest military buildup since the Cold War. I mean, this seems crazy. The next article we're going to look at, Britain and the U.S. sending planes, troops to deter Russia in the east. This is Reuters, October 26th. The next article, UK deploys hundreds of troops and aircraft to Eastern Europe. The Guardian, another article. So here we have, here we have a huge military buildup happening before the election. And we don't even understand why it's happening in the U.S., really. It wasn't being discussed on the news, other topics, but we have the entire world could be wiped out. Nuclear war means that it doesn't matter how many missiles are fired. If one missile can take out France or Texas, you do the math on how many you need to wipe out the entire country. And that that also has to do with what the United States or other countries would do to the enemy. You're talking about wiping out half of the world. And then what the nuclear winter would do worldwide, we're really talking about destroying the planet. Do you realize how close we were to destroying the planet before the election? We were very close. We were the closest we've been since the Cold War. And nobody really knew about that. Nobody cared. I think it's because most people think it couldn't really have happened. But the proof I just showed you, it was happening. And it is absolutely crazy that we didn't know this, right? And we can be every single human and person on earth can be thankful that we figured this out. So what happened is Donald Trump was elected. We've got another article from a site from the UK. Russia nuke power on our doorstep. Putin's fearsome nuclear fleet 10 miles from Dover right now. Can you believe this? This is absolutely insane. So Donald Trump gets elected. And everybody's going crazy. But nobody really realized that literally nuclear weapons are in the English Channel. And people are mad, protesting in the streets about love, Trump's hate, and, you know, Satan has come. Meanwhile, the people that we may be going to nuclear war with, that for whatever reason, it, I don't even know that it really matters. Does it really matter? What the reason is, I I think we were instigating things, us being in the United States, and maybe they were not happy either. But for whatever reason, they decide that, here's an article, after the election, November 11th, Donald Trump's victory averted World War III. Well, that's pretty good, pretty good. That means we're not going to die. That means the entire planet is not going to go up in a ball of smoke. Here's another article from The Sun, a UK publication. Vladimir Putin's top aides say Hillary Clinton victory would have caused World War III, adding Donald's Trump, Donald Trump's win... Save the planet from nuclear apocalypse. Donald Trump's win saved the planet from nuclear apocalypse. A top Russian diplomat, directly from the horse's mouth. Final article. 
Kremlin. Clinton victory would have led to World War III between Russia and the U.S. I don't know. I really don't know how much clearer it has to be for us. Do we want to die? I mean, seriously, do we want to die? It sounds pretty silly, but... I have no idea why people aren't aware of this and why they're not so happy. In fact, on some of these shows, Infowars.com, for example, which is a huge media company, which is controversial because some of the media says they make things up or they're a conspiracy show, but they have they had Democrats leak that were frightened that... Hillary Clinton wanted to start World War III. I don't know if that's true, but I'm going to take the Russians at their word and say that a nuclear apocalypse is not going to happen because Donald Trump got elected. So I think that's probably maybe more important than a couple of comments made that sounded really bad and were really bad a few months ago. Nuclear apocalypse is probably a lot worse. It would be a major problem. (laughs) I guess we wouldn't know if we're not here, perhaps. Actually, I think we would know. Actually, I think we would know, even if we are not here. But I think it's something that everybody can be happy about. And thinking about the news and what's going on, it's really about being thankful for those things that might not be apparent. And finding the good in things. And so I think that's a really amazing thing. The world is not going to blow up because Donald Trump was elected. No matter what you think of him. No matter if you think he's the worst person in the history of mankind. Russia said that if Hillary would have been elected, even a higher chance of a nuclear apocalypse, it's not a good thing. I don't know how, I don't think, I think all of us agree. Wouldn't you agree that's a good thing? So I'm really excited that you could just possibly agree with me that nuclear apocalypse would have been a problem for all of us, right?